A man who admitted to killing his pregnant fiance in 1994 was up for parole today. 53 year old Joaquin Ramos was originally sentenced to life in prison. In 2010, then Governor Mike Rounds commuted his sentence to 150 years, allowing him the chance for parole. In September of last year, Ramos was denied parole, but now eight months later, he's eligible again. Capital Lens Lauren Solick brings you testimony from people both for and against Ramos getting out of prison. In the winter of 1994, Joaquin Ramos shot and killed his pregnant fiance, Debbie Martinez, in the back of her neck as her children watched. Her family continues to testify against the release of Ramos every time his parole comes up. I have no resentment against you. I pray for you every day. I pray that you find some type of relief and some type of way to acknowledge what you did to us, what you did to our family. And all we are asking from you is to omit all the horrible things that you have done. And until you yourself can admit to yourself that you did those, how can you be rehabilitated? Ramos's family say he's a changed man. I know I'm not advocating for an innocent man. He deserves to do time. He, spent the, he has spent the prime of his life behind bars. And when he does get a new chance in the world, his experience won't be what it could have been. He has children who don't speak to him and grandbabies that he doesn't know. He expresses regret often when we speak. The rest of his days have been altered the night he took that young woman's life. He really lives with all of this. This too is punishment. In previous parole hearings, it was discussed that Ramos got his bachelor's degree while in prison and was working on getting his master's for counseling. Former inmates say he helped them change for the better. And I tell you that I was a monster. And I take, take nothing away from the family, what they say, because I was not a good man. I was a horrible man, a horrible person. And I deeply regret all the pain that I've caused this family. As Ramos got up to leave the hearing, you can see him mouth an I'm sorry to the computer screen. Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. The panel will decide to either deny his parole or send him to the full board for another hearing. They expect to have that decision by the end of the week. Kelloland investigates looked into this case during the last parole hearing because of issues with the state's victim notification system. You can find that report on Kelloland.com.